Yeah, we wasted so much time, and in Kuala Lumpur, we could have done something instead, and instead we waited in this Twin Tower building. So in my blog in the years, we are in Malaysia, and the first stop is Watu K. We arrived in Malaysia early in the morning and took a cab to our first destination. We have arrived at Batu Caves and I really hope that I don't get pooped on by the pigeons. There are many monkeys roaming around here and this one's got a baby clinging onto her. Mommy monkey dropped some coconuts and baby is climbing down to eat it. The main attraction here is the large statue of the Hindu guard at the entrance. There are many rules here of what you cannot do at the temple such as no kissing. Ew, gross! We're going to hike up 272 steps, and my mom is also going to wear a shawl. She's going to borrow one from the temple. Can I buy dollars? Here we go. Batu Caves is a limestone hill that has a series of caves and cave temples. It takes its name from the Sungai Batu, which flows past the hill. This step I'm standing on is the 100th step. And what a great view. Oh look, there's another mother with her little monkey. And here's our mother with her little monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. This is step 200. We're more than halfway there. Just 72 more steps to go. Ready? We are finally reached the top. 272 steps. Now we're entering the cave. Visitors can volunteer by carrying buckets of materials to help build the temple. <laughs> Statues and scenes of Hindu gods can be seen in the cave. And there are even more stairs to climb. We have made it inside the cave. And this is the first time I think I saw monkeys not in the zoo. Hey monkey, you cannot go inside the shrine. Brother, say cheese. We're heading to our next destination. Our next stop is the Islamic Art Museum. Founded in 1998, this museum houses Southeast Asia's largest collection of Islamic art with more than 10,000 artifacts. First, we're checking out the architecture gallery. There are many models of mosques here. This is the Taj Mahal that I shrunk and I put it in this museum. The mosque in China looks very Chinese. Brother is taking pictures of every display that he sees. Next is the Quran and Manuscript Gallery. This one is the biggest that I've seen so far. And this is the smallest one I've seen. Hey brother, conserve the battery on your mother's phone. In this section, we'll be looking at Arm and Armor. This space kind of looks like a durian. Next is the Ceramics Gallery. Islamic calligraphy is featured in this wing. These are called ink stamps. Followed by the Textile Gallery. We had an educational time here. Our cab is taking us to the next location. Our next stop is the National Mall. Built in 1965 on the site of a church, this is an important symbol of the Islamic country of Malaysia. Unfortunately, it is closed for non-Muslims because it is Friday. Oops, no shoes are allowed on the holy ground. Brother is going to try some durian ice cream. How does it taste? Driver is taking us to get something to eat. Now we're going to have one to Kandar Pilita. This is a local Indian Muslim restaurant. I'm drinking Milo, which tastes like chocolate milk. Then we ordered a bunch of food. This fried chicken is very yummy. 
and dipping some naan into the lentil. I'm going to try this brown sugar drink thing. I give this place two thumbs up. We are at Patronus Twin Towers and we hope that we can get tickets to go on the tour. This 88-story twin structure was once the tallest building in the world. Two hours later. Patronus Twin Towers was one of the worst experiences we've ever had because um, the corporate manager was going to meet us at 3 o'clock to get us inside. And we've been waiting for over two hours and she hasn't showed up. Yeah, we wasted so much time and in Kuala Lumpur we could have done something instead and instead we waited in this Twin Tower building. <laughs> but despite that, we still had a great time in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you Mr. Rossley for being our driver for the day. Stay tuned for Penang. Please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to look for your own adventure. Now we're at Penang Peranakan Mansion. Oh, it's hot. So in Mount Blockaneers, we are in Penang, Malaysia, and our first stop is the Colonial Penang Museum. This is a unique and unrivaled museum showcasing the opulent lifestyle of the rich Ming merchants, Peranakan, and the British administered during the colonial era. I'm going to ring the bell. This house is filled with items brought over by the Chinese merchants to impress the British. The family made its riches by harvesting and selling clothes during colonial times. This sculpture was carved from a single piece of marble. There are many priceless art pieces here including beautiful stained glass windows. We are looking at some antique furniture and appliances. These fans were over a hundred years old and they still work. Going to the second level. Here is a view of the yard. I wonder what that woman is doing. These antique light bulbs still work today. You cannot sit on this chair, but these two are okay. This was the bedroom of the founder, Jasmine Tan. And there are even more stained glass windows. I'm touching this very old bookshelf. Five to nine hundred years old, from Ming Dynasty, from southern China. I didn't know that I was at one of the displays at the museum. In this room, there are even more marble sculptures. Another one to climb into this tub. Lastly, we're exploring the yard. We climbed up to the top of the treehouse and got a great view of the mansion. We had so much fun here. We're heading to our next destination. Our next stop is Penang Botanical Gardens. Founded in 1884, this is also known as the Waterfall Gardens because of the cascading waterfall nearby. We're going to take a tour around the garden on this golf cart. We're limited on time so the driver promised us that the tour will only take 20 minutes. We're making our first stop to look at the waterfall and it's very underwhelming. And we're looking at some interesting trees. This one's roots is so long. Next, our guide took us to the Orchidarium. The plants here are very pretty. At the next stop, our driver took off without us and said, So we had a hike back to the entrance. 11 minutes later. What is that, Mama? What is that? Sounds like a gun shot. We had a terrible experience here at the garden. We're taking a cab to the next attraction. Now we are at Penang Peranakan Mansion. <laughs> there are over 1,000 pieces of antiques and collectibles of the Peranakan era on display here. Brother wants to play with those baby dolls. This mannequin is looking at you. Is that guy smoking a bong? Let's go check out the second floor. The mansion has a lot of fancy bedrooms. Ooh, my feet are tired from all the walking. 
We had so much fun at the Penang Peranakan Mansion. Lastly, we're eating at Anglo, a very popular local spot for lunch. The food here was decent, but not very hygienic. Stay tuned for the Wonder Food and Upside Down Museum. Please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to look for your own adventure. Uh, I eat it. <coughs>《Upside Down Museum》Opened in 2015, this museum creates the illusion that visitors are walking on ceilings and walls. We're going to take a picture here and turn it upside down. Now it looks like we're standing on the ceiling. We're moving on to the next room. Brother, did you forget to close the refrigerator? In each room, the staff will instruct you how to pose. We've seen stranger things here than the upside down. Come on, brother, let's go do some more poses. Picture we will be appearing sideways. Now we're going to take some photos at the quote unquote exterior of the building. Let's get into position. I am blowing the soccer ball up the table. We had so much fun here and now it's time to visit the upside down gift shop and the upside down cafe. We're walking to our next destination. We have reached Armenian Street, which is known for its cultural offerings and street art. Which character here is the silliest? This one here is called Children on the Bicycle. Brother, you are very strong. Hey mister, you're getting in the way. Why are all of you guys photobombing our picture? Our final stop is the Wonder Food Museum. This is a fun, creative, informative, and interactive food museum. There are many replicas of Malaysian dishes, art, and historical information on display here. Brother is pointing to all the items that we have eaten on this trip. These are models of the street sings of Malaysia. Now we are going to play with some props. Hey look, I'm the national chef of the year. Hey brother, I don't think you're supposed to touch that. This room is very colorful. And this one is black and white. Hey, why does this table have rotten food? This room has no gravity. We're entering an exhibit that has giant sized meals. Let go of my chicken leg, brother. That's the biggest ship I ever seen. It's time for dessert. We're going to dress up and work at the hawker stall. What's that stinky smell? Lastly, we learned not to waste food because kids are starving around the world. We had so much fun here. Stay tuned for Thailand. Please hit the subscribe button and remember, look for your own adventure.